Welcome to another Draft House Diary for Tuesday, May 30th, 2023, when I went to the Alamo Draft House Sloan's Lake to see the movie Blackberry. Now, back in my review of Air, I talked a little bit about business movies. They are similar to sports movies in that they give you clear sides, clear stakes, a goal, teams to root for. And Air, to some small extent, combined the substance of a business movie with some of the trappings of a sports movie. What Blackberry does is it is very much a business movie, and it has some of that same feel in that you've got the teams and the stakes and the goals. It combines it, though, with technology in which things are a little more fuzzy, and yet they can be very satisfying when they help you understand something and when you bring something into clarity or some innovation becomes front and center. And that's what the Blackberry movie does very well. I've heard it described as a comedy drama. That seems about right. It's also sort of a biographical story, both about the people involved and about the rise and fall of this company. It is about the Canadian company Research in Motion, responsible for the BlackBerry, which really created the smartphone market and which had a dramatic rise and fall. In that regard, if I'm going to compare it to a sports movie, the first half of the movie is rooting for the underdogs. It's seeing them do something that had never been done before and doing it through knowledge and skill and effort. Because if you know the story, you know what happened. In 2007, the iPhone came along. The smartphone market changed completely. And that, plus some limitations of the BlackBerry itself, ensured its demise. So the first half of the movie is, is a cool rush where you get to see this built. And the second half of the movie is, I don't, don't want to say it's depressing, but it's a very different kind of ride. Seeing this, what starts out as a series of problems become an inevitable slide, even if you don't know the story ahead of time. As a biography, it's really the story of the three main characters, the three main people involved in BlackBerry. There's uh, Mike Lazardis, played by Jay Baruchel, who is terrific. I don't think I've ever seen him in something where he wasn't remarkable in some way. Also, uh, Glenn Howerton as Jim Balsillie, who was the business person that got connected with this little startup company, Research in Motion, back in 1996 in Canada. And Matt Johnson, who's also the director of the film, plays Mike's partner at Research in Motion, uh, Doug Fregan. And the three of them, or the, the two of them, Mike and Doug, have this idea for hardware and the network technology to make it work. Because up until then, you couldn't transfer a lot of data over the existing cell network, certainly not email, just because the number of connections you would have to make over the course of any given time would quickly overwhelm any network. They figured out a solution to that, and they figured out how to do this with small handheld hardware. Jim Balsillie, strictly a product business guy, loses one job, takes them up on their uh, pitch about research in motion, and essentially becomes their co-CEO. And there's a lot of, a big deal about that made throughout the movie, where he and Mike Lazardis are co-CEOs. But who has control of what is very clear and, and uh, is a source of tremendous tension. But we see the company build over time. We see them, some great scenes in which they're explaining to cell phone carrier companies how they solved the problem that the carriers were not able to solve. And watching these light bulbs go on over the heads of the, the network guys who understood their problems just enough to understand that this guy understands our problem and has solved it. Terrific scenes. I really like those. We then get, as the company builds, we get to enjoy that triumph, but then we see people start to change with success, be it Jim Balsillie or uh, Mike Lazardis. Doug Fagan, I think, changes the least. He's kind of the goofy guy, but he's part of keeping a team together. And he is, in some ways, our stand-in witnessing these tremendous changes that he didn't want, that he didn't support, and that he has no power to avoid. 
So it's a powerful movie. It's a fun movie. I enjoyed it very much. It's not a happy story, but uh, it, it has a lot of fun elements to it. Other parts of my trip to the Alamo. The pre-roll was lots of, it was doing the kind of thing in the Alamo pre-roll that the first few minutes of the movie Air did, I think, very clumsily, which is give you some context for the time and the setting. So we got lots of retro technology ads from the the late uh, 90s and the, the turn of the year 2000. We got uh, Apple ads, Apple parodies. We got an ad for the Apple Lisa. That was fun to see. We got the, the G.I. Joe PSA about, or actually a remix of a G.I. Joe PSA about computers and illegal downloading. And we got a couple of pieces and music videos and things, some of which were all called Computer Man, one of which was a song, one of which was somebody hawking Max in 1995. Uh, some interesting bits from the actor and the director. And, uh, of course, a BlackBerry ad in there. So it was a good pre-show. It wasn't shoehorned into the movie the way some directors insist. Instead, Alamo took the initiative to kind of get us in the mood for something that had to do with the turn of this century technology. Food and drink. I didn't have very much. Uh, I just had uh, a Breckenridge Vanilla Porter. I've had that before. It's one of my go-to uh, beers there. It's, it's excellent. I also had their pickle fries again. I've had those in the past. And uh, now that I know that the sharpness of the vinegar does need that extra ranch for dipping, uh, I enjoyed that very much. All in all, a very good uh, visit to the Alamo, even though, as I've said before, the Sloan's Lake Alamo is due for an upgrade for seating and other things. But that's all for this Draft House Diary. If you enjoyed this, please click like down below. If you want to be sure to see future entries, click the subscribe button. But most important, thank you very much for joining. I'll be back soon. And in the meantime, enjoy your movies. And when you do, stay till the end of the credits.